What's going on fight fans, it's your host Sebastian and welcome back to the Boxing Tip. Now I'm not going to lie to you guys, I did not watch the fight. The only reason I didn't watch the fight is because I couldn't find a link to stream it. And now that the fight's over, I couldn't find a video or maybe someone released something, you know what I'm saying? Right after the fight was done, there was nothing. So I didn't get a chance to see it, but I promise you uh, that I will make another video about this once I'm able to watch the fight. But from what I do know is that Jezreel Corrales did edge out Uchiyama by a split decision victory. Uh, I do know that Uchiyama scored a knockdown. They're, they were calling it a flash knockdown, but I didn't see it, so I couldn't really, you know, see it for myself. So, but I did pick the right winner. I could say that much, but I did pick wrong for how the fight was going to end. I thought Jezreel Corrales was going to be able to get Uchiyama out of there again. I thought maybe the old man, you know, didn't have it quite in him to go a full two rounds, uh, 12 rounds again. But, you know, surprise, surprise. I've been, today's been a, today's been a day full of surprises, really. Just a Goonie beats Jonathan Guzman, which I had no, I had no way of seeing that coming. And uh, Takashi Uchiyama gets a split decision loss from a uh, Corrales. I mean, I thought he was going to get knocked out again, but I was wrong again. So no big deal. Can't predict the future. So, but I have no bitterness about being wrong. Honestly, it's a, it's a good thing because if I knew every fight, if I knew how every fight was going to play out and who the winner was going to be for every fight, then I would be, I would have no interest in boxing whatsoever. So that's why I'm not ashamed of it. But just to kind of got, you know, just for the guys who follow me or watch my channel, you know, who haven't heard the news or didn't get a chance to see the fight for themselves. Just wanted to let you guys know that Jezreel Corrales did win a split decision victory over Takashi Uchiyama, retaining his WBA title at 130 pounds. Now, being that Jezreel Corrales got the victory over Uchiyama, and this is his second time getting a win over Uchiyama, I'd like to see him now fight another one of the other 130 pound fighters, one of the top 130 pound fighters. Uh, there's always the Vasil Lomachenko option. Um, I know that they were in discussions for the fight before Walters agreed to fight Lomachenko. There's also Jason Sosa who beat Javier Fortuna who I feel like is a somewhat similar fighter in style to Jezreel Corrales. I would like to see that matchup. I'd like to see maybe him take on Javier Fortuna. That'd be pretty interesting uh, in my opinion. And then we have Francisco Vargas. You know the other title holder so you know a unification ma match with any of the other three title holders would be a pretty uh pretty damn good fight between Jezreel Corrales and any of those guys uh we d are seeing Gervonta Davis versus uh Jose Pedraza coming up real soon maybe the winner of that fight maybe uh Jezreel Corra uh, Corrales can get a hold of one of those guys either way if it's Pedraza it's a good fight if it's Gervonta Davis it's still a good fight so that's you know the 130 pound division man it's it's stacked it is stacked uh whether you agree with that or not in my opinion it's stacked a lot of good fighters a lot of interesting fights to be made at 130 pounds but that's all i got for you guys on this video make sure you share the video with your boxing homies share your thoughts with me let me know what you think if you were able to see the fight uh why don't you comment on my uh video here and then just kind of give me a you know brief explanation of how you saw the fight go down also, who would you like to see Jezreel Corrales go up against next? And uh, make sure you introduce someone to boxing, man. 2017 is literally hours away. And uh, we got a lot of great fights scheduled for the early portion of 2017. So make sure you get someone caught up, man, so they don't miss any good fights next year. But I will talk to you guys on the next one. Sebastian from the Boxing Tip signing out. Peace and Happy New Year, guys.